So we reported an update of Monarch E. This has previously been reported. Abemacyclib is an FDA approved drug in the adjuvant setting for patients that are node positive, have hormone receptor positive disease, uh, and have a high risk of recurrence. And really what we wanted to ask the question here is do older patients get the same benefit as our younger patients and do they tolerate the drug equally well. And then the third thing we looked at was also this question around dose reductions and does it hurt outcome at all? And so we divided patients into uh, greater than 65 years of age or less than 65. It turns out only 3% of patients on trial were older than 75. So that really wasn't a big enough sample set to draw any conclusions. But it turned out that patients that were older had equal benefit to those younger patients. So sometimes I think we think, oh, well, younger patients have more aggressive cancers and patients that are older maybe have less aggressive cancers and may not need medicines like this. And really when we're selecting for these high risk characteristics uh, as part of the Monarch E trial, node positive, high risk, et cetera, they do have equal risk and they do need a bimacyclib. Reassuringly, we really did not see many differences in safety or adverse events. Uh, in fact, neutropenia, ILD, et cetera, was actually no different at all. Um, fatigue uh, was a little bit more grade three fatigue, two versus 6% in our older patients. Uh, diarrhea was actually 5% less common in older patients, but more severe diarrhea, grade three, was 5% more common. So really not a whole lot of differences in safety or tolerability. The very interesting thing, and I think my big takeaway from uh, Monarch E by Age, was that despite the fact that safety and tolerability is quite equal, older patients were more likely to discontinue drug and more likely to have dose reductions. But in fact, over half of the patients that discontinued abemacyclib did so without ever trying a dose reduction. And this was actually true regardless of younger or older. Over half did not try a dose reduction before uh, discontinuing drug. We did something called relative dose intensity. So divided uh, all the patients based on how much of that initial starting planned dose of 150 milligrams uh, twice a day of abimacyclib did they actually get. And whether we were in the lowest third, the middle third, or the highest third, uh, it looked like there was no impact on efficacy or the benefit that patients got, even if they dose reduced. So my takeaway really is that if patients need to have dose reductions to tolerate drug better or for any reason, I think we can reassure them that they can do that safely without impacting their outcome or benefit from a bimacyclib. So I think we really need to be talking to our patients about the possibility of dose reductions and trying dose reductions before we discontinue uh, to maintain good treatment compliance on this drug that clearly gives our patients benefit.